Hey everybody, uh, today I'll be doing a close-up shoot. I wouldn't call it macro, but it kind of is. Um, but I'm using the Leica um, Macro Elmar M lens. This is an uh, F4 lens. I think this is one of the sharpest lenses Leica makes, believe it or not. And the, of course I'll be using the um, Macro Adapter M um, with this on the camera. And I'll be shooting the new Voigtlander 35 1.5. Um, this, this lens, I'm really impressed with this lens. Uh, it's the Nocton Vintage line. This is the Type 2. It's the um, black paint on the chrome body. Um, you know, it has a little bit of weight to it, but nothing, you know, outrageous compared to, you know, what everybody's used to with um, other lenses. <laughs> Um, you know, from other brands is what I mean, but um, this is a gorgeous lens. Uh, the, the way this is made, there's just something special about this and um, the look and feel and this focus tab, everything is just top notch with this lens. And I love the rendering of it as well. Um, you know, somebody asked me if it can, be re if it can replace the uh, Leica Sumalux 35 new or old, uh, no, <laughs> but it comes really damn close. And, and I never want to say that. I'm just saying it's a different lens. You know, it doesn't make it worse. It's just different. So, um, if you like the differences, then it's worth getting. Um, and, and the best way to do that is try it. Uh, cause it's, it's a joy to use and it's, it is really a small lens. Um, but anyway, getting back to this, you know, I am not um, a, a professional macro shooter by any means. There's such talent out there that um, it's mind boggling. But I want to know everything there is to know about every aspect of shooting. Because if somebody comes to me with a job, I don't want to be able to say, no, I can't do it. Um, so I want to be great at all the different types of photography there is so I can take on other projects and pay the bills. Um, so, you know, a long time ago, everybody says, you know, you have to stick with your niche and advertise to your niche. And, you know, that's not true today. <laughs> today it's pay your bills um, and, and do what you can to make the money when you can. Because uh, times change and things change and they have this rotation in your life that you need to grab whatever job you can and do it. That being said, I'm, I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice about this. Um, number one, a light box. Now, this light box is, is actually a pretty nice light box. It's really big. And they have these two light bars here, which, you know, they're okay, but they're not really that powerful. And for me, they're not powerful enough, but they light up the box and they give you a decent background. And these can be put up top, on the sides here, like whatever you want. And then there's a hole up top to shoot down. But I was thinking when I got this, well, I'll just put another light in there and shine the light down in here. But then these silver sides pick up that, ref they reflect differently on the background. Like you'll get sparkly reflections on the background, which is not good. <laughs> um, so, I went to my old standby. These are just acetate sheets. You can get these off of um, Amazon or a, you know, an art store or a paper shop somewhere. But I love acetate sheets for diffusing flash and uh, LEDs because it diffuses it beautifully. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I, I like the rendering of it and, and it just creates beautiful light. And I have the Stella um, Stella Pro on here, uh, Reflex, that I've been looking for things to do <laughs> with this light. And, and this actually worked out pretty well. Um, you know, it is close to my head when I'm shooting, um, but it, it put out the right light. Uh, and I just have it on a small stand because it's so small and I have it plugged in so I can get to the 9,000 lumens if I needed it. Um, and I just use a magic arm to put it over the center of the camera so that it's not um, so that worked out pretty well. Um, and the other thing that I want to tell you, the two most important things 
um, when you're shooting any kind of object for me is a pair of white gloves. <laughs> so, and, and air <laughs> or a brush, whatever you prefer, but this on a lens, um, with your cap on, but handling this and then blowing it off to get the dust off. Because if you don't do it, I'm going to show you a shot really quick to show you what it looks like without taking care of your object or subject prior to shooting it. So here's a quick pick of that. So this is one of the first images in the stack, obviously, because you can see that it's blurry in the background. But I just wanted to show you a close-up of all the dust and lint and little particles all over this lens. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you do a focus stack, it's not always perfect. You know, you have to fix different areas. And you add all this dust and crap that you have to get off this in post-processing, it becomes a project. The other thing is gloves. So it may not seem like a big deal. Um, these are like a microfiber type of glove. glove. Um, but when you touch, especially like a shiny object like this or a, a, you know, a flat, shiny surface, surface um, it'll pick up fingerprints like mad. Now, when you're shooting macro, it picks up your fingerprints. And the aftermath of the work that you have to do <laughs> is just painful. So this is one of those projects where I forgot my gloves and used a microfiber cloth to set these up, which is next to impossible. But even if the side of my finger touched one of these tubes, I'd have fingerprints and it was torture in post. Now, because this has some depth and it's so detailed, I'm, I'm going to use focus stacking um, to get it all in focus. Even at, if I'm shooting at f11, I'm still not going to go more than a centimeter in focus, and that's stretching it. So I have to focus stack. Now, I'm not going to go through focus stack on this. There's a lot of great macro photographers that can teach you focus stacking on YouTube um, uh, that are very, very proficient in it. Uh, so rather than me giving you, you know, half-assed information, I'm, I'm just going to tell you to, you know, search those people out and, and, um, and watch their stuff on focus stacking. But focus stacking is not perfect. So no matter what, you're going to have areas where you have to touch up um, and, and you have to be good at touch up for something this intricate. And, you know, I'm proficient um, uh, with shooting. I'm, I'm excellent with the post-processing because uh, I've been doing it so long. But, you know, you want to get the dust off of here, handle it with care, and get the shot in camera um, so you don't have to do that much post-processing. Um, anyway, so that's ba the basis of the shoot today. Um, if you have any questions, I will try to answer them as best I can for you. Um, but I just want to give you a little brief look at the shoot and then, you know, show you the finished images. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, like I said, ask. Um, <laughs> I, can, I can be a little bit of a help. Um, but. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today, and that's my shoot today. So, um, enjoy. So there's really not much to say during this um, other than take your time um, and, you know, be patient. The, the you know, I, I know the pros are anal with lighting, and, you know, they set up shots that are more artistic than just straight shots. But 90% of the time when I'm doing a job for somebody, I need a straight shot they need a pure white background for like Amazon or a website or whatever. So I, I don't do the creative side of this kind of photography. I think I would enjoy it, um, but I love people so much. I like shooting people more than I like shooting product. But I'll tell you, like sitting down with a, you know, cup of coffee and a object and, you know, taking the challenge even to do something like this, it's fun. It's um, relaxing and it's like a fishing trip. You know, it's a, something away from what you normally shoot. Um, so I'm, I'm good with it. So this is just a close-up of the setup. Um, you know, the camera, the lens, um, the acetate sheet above the lens, that's, that's basically it. And, and yeah, I, I do do, a, you know, a little bit different lighting for different objects depending on what they are. 
um, you know, if it's a straight shiny object um, like the, I showed you earlier with the lipsticks, you know, obviously you need some different lighting. Um, but for this, it's just a, a basic setup, um, and it's the stack. Uh, there's the 90 uh, macro, um, and that ring there is, you know, will move the, the lens in and out. Uh, this is a nice macro um, adapter. I really like it from Leica. Um, but anyway, that's, that's my setup, and that's the lens. I love the fact that if I need to, I can push that lens in and, and it's a regular 90 mac or 90 millimeter lens then, but out it's a macro. So, and I think it's a one to two. Um, that's just a Stella. I do turn that up for the shoot to 9,000 lumen. Um, and it, I mean, I needed the light. I was shooting at uh, F11 and here's the end result. So this is a stacked image. Like I said, definitely look on YouTube um, for instructions on stacking because there's a lot of great information out there. Uh, but as you can see from, you know, from front to back, this is in focus. Everything that needs to be in focus is in focus. For me, I really wanted to show this focus tab because, you know, when I first saw this on Voigtlander's site, um, it was, you know, you couldn't even you could barely see the focus tab, so you weren't really sure if there was a focus tab. And to me, that's a big selling point uh, of this lens is because it's such a gorgeous focus tab. I'm 90% I'm sure it's a brass focus tab as well. Um, but anyway, that's these are the shots, um, uh, and they came out nice. I just wanted to give you this shot really quick. It's not great, um, but I want to show you. This is that lens, the 90 macro. That's a, a 1 to 2 ratio. That's how close I can get. Um, but the sharpness of this lens is is pretty nice. I'm, I'm really enjoying this lens for macro work, and I love it for portrait work. But anyway, that's my shoot for today. I just wanted to share um, something else that I do, and you know, get into it if you haven't. It's fun.